Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University for tonight's matchup between the visiting UTRGV Vaqueros and the hometown Utah Valley Wolverines. We're coming to you a little bit early as we see some of the seniors being recognized tonight. A couple of the, the senior trainers being recognized by Coach Mark Madsen and his staff. Yeah, the, the uh, managers, senior managers, I'll tell you, being a manager, whew, that is one heck of a gig that the, uh, those kids put on, and they do a great job with it. So anyone out there watching this, to uh, congratulations to these young men. They've uh, served the program extremely well. And for those of you wondering, that is not my voice in a modulator. That is my color commentary partner tonight, Josh Kalunke. <laughs> and I just barged right in, folks, and I apologize <laughs> for that without introduction. And we're gonna, we'll lay out here as we show a video for Evan Cole, the lone senior playing on this team. So Evan Cole coming all the way across country from Atlanta, Georgia. Loves his Chick-fil-A. Don't talk to him about anything else. Well, and he's uh, accompanied here by athletic director Jared Sumption and the president of the university. President, uh, remind me how to say it correctly. Astro Tuminez. Tuminez, yeah. I, I tend to say Tuimenez, but it's Tuminez. And she is... Uh, a little bit of contrast in height there. Yeah. But I bet you she could post Evan up. She's a tough she's a tough uh, lady. She's great. Amazing uh, leader. Ever since President Tuminez has stepped foot on this campus, she has been active and shown herself literally in every sporting event, anything. Yep, absolutely. And you'll see it over there. I don't know if you can see it, folks, but there's uh, Evan Cole. But you, she, she goes over to her seat with her pom-poms. Yep. She's uh, very active, and I, and I think that's wonderful, and it's great for the university. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with starting lineups in just a few minutes. Tip-off coming at you on the WAC Digital Network after this.
I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in. Are you? Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free. Available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. We love the new apartment. The natural light is amazing. Hardwood floors. There is a bit of a clogging problem. Ali's Geico makes it easy to bundle our renters and car insurance. Yeah, helping us save even more. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. Ready to go? And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is the premier award-winning student property in Orem. With renovations of nearly $5 million, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or remote. And the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, so safety and support is the top priority. Please now get half off your November rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. The Road to Wack Vegas runs through WackSports.com. Get all the content you want, all in one place. If you follow one team or all of them, with live broadcasts exclusively on the ESPN family of networks. And behind-the-scenes access on Wack social media. Don't miss the key plays. For insights from the coaches and players, the 2021 Hercules Tires Wack Basketball Tournament, March 10th through the 13th at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Orm, Utah, the campus of Utah Valley University for tonight's matchup. Round two between the Utah Valley Wolverines and the visiting UTRGV Vaqueros. Alongside Josh Kalunki tonight, I am Brandon Crow. Thank you for joining us here on the WAC Digital Network and on YouTube. Josh, good to have you with us. Why, thank you, Brandon. I like the way you say my last name, Josh Kalunki. Uh, I like being introduced with some flair. Okay, better than uh, what has been taking place. <laughs> there you go. Uh, tonight's a big game, Brandon. Uh, Utah Valley coming in here ha ha having beat the Vaqueros, uh, and I don't say it properly like you do, but uh, the Vaqueros last night uh, defeated them by four in a, in a close game. So tonight is a big game as Utah Valley really needs to take this. Uh, they're just a half game behind Grand Canyon for, uh, for first place in the WAC right now. Yeah, a lot of different scenarios out there. If Utah Valley wins tonight and Grand Canyon loses, then all Utah Valley has to do next week in that big finale of the season series against Grand Canyon is, is win one game, and then they become the regular season champions. But Coach Mark Matson, as always, is just focused on the game ahead. Absolutely, and you absolutely can't be focused on anything more than this. You start looking ahead, and that's when uh, things crop up and you get beat, and 
start making silly mistakes. So Utah Valley tonight, we're going to see the same kind of scenario we saw last night. Pressure defense, in your face, very quick, undersized team from Texas uh, Rio Grande Valley, and then Utah Valley with their big size and their big guys inside. Which one of those will win out? Josh, go ahead and run us the starters for UTRGV. Well, tonight for UTRGV, you'll have uh, Le- uh, Javon Levi starting at point guard, and you'll all, you'll have uh, you'll have uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Quentin Johnson the second at guard. You'll have uh, Uche Diamak Diabamak. Okay, I got Di-Biamaka. it. Diabamaka. Uh, at uh, forward. Merrick Nelson at the other forward, and inside you'll have Jeff O'Cherry. Perfect. For Utah Valley, Evan Cole, Blaze Neal, Trey Woodbury, Fardon Zamak, and J.J. Overton. Overton last night left a little early toward the end of the game with an apparent knee injury then, but everything looks to be okay right now as Evan Cole starts things off with a rebound after a UTRGB miss. Boy, I stumbled all over those starters, so let's see if I can do better as we move along here, Brandon. <laughs> But uh, Utah Valley, oh, Ooh, steal quickly, uh, right on cue is Javon Levi. And that's one player, Josh, that as you and I were talking about this game and this matchup, that's just one guy that you said you absolutely love. I absolutely love him. I mean, his quickness, his leadership. Uh, last night didn't cut, go his way, got a couple technical fouls and was excused from the game late. But he is a guy you've got to watch for. Fardaz Amax showing a little mid-range game, something that we haven't seen from him yet this season. And Dibby Amaka steps into a three-pointer, which is too strong. Another rebound by Evan Cole, who last night had a career-high 14 rebounds, led the Wolverines. Right, and he's got two already here. And Evan Cole is a guy who really can have a big game because he's matched up against someone that uh, is listed at 6'7", and uh, probably not all of that. So at 6'10", and as athletic as he is, he really should have a big game tonight. Evan Cole, the lone senior on the playing team for this Utah Valley Wolverines was honored just about five minutes ago and he is definitely playing with a lot of fire and a welcome addition as he gets the feed from Trey Woodbury for the first two points of the evening. Well that's just a nice pick there on the uh, out of bounds play. Good play, good execution and get that easy shot, get him going. Again, UTRGV in their road grays with the orange trim. Utah Valley in the home whites with the green. Javon Levi on the outskirts, pops from mid-range to short, and th- the third rebound by Evan Cole. Yeah, Evan Cole off to a big start here. Sometimes you have something like a senior night, and you think a guy might struggle a little bit. Wolverine's trying to work it around the perimeter. Overton in low to Evan Cole. Evan Cole, when you give him that, oh, that's the first miss. We've seen with Evan Cole, maybe that emotion got to him. <laughs> yeah, there it was. He went up, and I think it, right there was a case of trying to hammer that ball down harder than just putting it in the nice dunk. And Evan is a hard dunker, but not this time. Woodbury with his head on a swivel looking up. Doesn't have any options. Instead, goes to Amac. Woodbury finds himself wide open, and he comes up way short. Uh, Right there is a case of, uh, I was so wide open, I I missed it. And Woodbury there, the first rebound not to Evan Cole for the Wolverines, and he goes up to the court. Overton, Cole can make it from there, but instead goes to Neal on the outside. Fardon Zamek, now Blaze Neal. Neal goes left. Then 10 on the clock, Woodbury, Overton. Evan Cole now with six. Got to make a move. Evan Cole gets fouled. Wow. And that's kind of a little bit of a tap foul right there. It's a foul that Utah Valley, of course, uh, enjoys that call. But uh, pretty good defense, I think, there uh, by uh, Johnson. And really, Cole earns his way to the line. Utah Valley, we've talked about this an awful lot off the air about Utah Valley's struggles at the free throw line. So good to see Evan Cole start off with a make here for the Wolverines. Take another look at the replay where Johnson got in the way of Evan Cole with that turnaround jumper, and Evan Cole successful at the free throw line. Just a little bit of a love tap there. Sure. And uh, sometimes love taps will earn you a trip to the line. Different officiating crew. Yep, and you have to adjust as a player. This time last night we would have probably had about ten fouls. (laughs) Absolutely. 
And here's a guy who was in foul trouble last night in O'Cherry. He goes to work, and there's a nice move. Just missed that reverse layup. J.J. Overton now with it for the Wolverines. Blaze Neal, far dies Amac. Amac going to try and go 1v1 with O'Cherry. Amac gets blocked. And Amac goes right back up and gets blocked again. Solid wow. defensive effort there from the Vaqueros. Yeah, what a block there. The, sec the first one was great, and the second one was even better. Outstanding defense. And I'll tell you, this is a great defensive team, this ball club. And again, if you have not heard, this UTRGV team facing tremendous adversity. Their head coach, Lou Hill, tragically passed away suddenly a couple weeks ago. And then as far as games go, as J.J. Overton gets the contact, they've had 12 games get canceled this season, and 11 of those 12 be whack games. So yeah, absolutely, and it's been unfortunate for them. But we'll talk about that when we come back here, 15-59 to go here in the first half. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Welcome back to the UCC Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow alongside Josh Kalunke and Ben Schroeder. Take a look at the, the WAC standings. Again, we, tend, we talked about Josh. Yeah. Utah Valley controls their own destiny. Absolutely, they do. Right now, uh, trailing by a half a game. Uh, well, actually, a full game, it looks like. It's 7-2 and two is Grand Canyon, Utah Valley at 6-3. and three. If they can finish off this game tonight, they'll move to 7-3. and three to, uh, Grand Canyon playing at Seattle tonight. So we'll see how that game pans out. After last night's victory, Utah Valley is seven and three. Oh, they are seven and three. So that we did not have an updated uh, graphic on that, and I apologize, folks. We'll get after our producer quite hard after this. JJ Overton makes his first free throw of the night. Last night, JJ Overton. So it is a half a game lead uh, for Grand Canyon right now, and I, I knew that, and that's why I panicked when I saw the graphic. But I'll tell you, uh, RGV just has one loss in league play, but they've only played three games. So very interesting scenario for them. So just as big a game for the Vaqueros as it is for the Wolverines. Absolutely. And again, Utah Valley, <clears throat> excuse me, if they win tonight, and somehow Grand Canyon were to lose tonight, then all Utah Valley has to do next week in that big showdown in the desert is just win one of them, and they win the regular season title. <laughs> well, just win one of them at Grand Canyon is uh, easier said than done. Without all the crazy students this year, it might be a different Yeah, a yeah, little different environment. Different environment is Guitar GV tacks on another bucket on the other side there by Dibia Maka. Utah Valley still up by two. Well, a decent crowd here for Utah Valley tonight. About as many as uh, are allowed by law in here. Overton drives, gets the contact, and finds the strength to put it through. Well, J.J. Overton continues that, uh, having that quickness, and he gets back to the basket. But I'll tell you, right there, you cannot allow that to happen, Brandon. That is a fast break off a made basket. You're just That's just not getting back, and Coach Madsen and his staff have to absolutely be uh, upset about that with the Wolverines. 
Fardaz Amak likes that inside the key shot put. <laughs> he does, Little yeah. Finger. It's like Shaq shooting a free throw. It really does, and it's, uh, it's he gets it off quickly, and it kind of comes almost from the hip, it looks like, but uh, he gets the roll on that one. Nice athleticism with the block by Evan Cole. Good well, Evan, body control. Evan did it, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he did a nice job of not uh, jumping and, and out of control. As you said, body control right there by Evan, and you see his athleticism at six foot ten. Not only is, is he up high to block that shot, but he is quick enough to stay with the 6'6 player. And uh, Johnson, I believe that's – or excuse me, that was uh, just checked in and right back out. Your was friend it? Larry Anderson. Yeah, that's Larry Anderson, Lawrence Anderson. <laughs> so fresh 20 for the Vaqueros. Butler trying Re- to get around to Overton. Really like Butler's game. He gave them a nice lift last night off the bench. Nelson in some trouble. Now with nine on the clock, Paquetto's trying to do some work here. Bratton, and that's a fantastic mid-range shot. And last night, Bratton torched Utah Valley for 19. Yeah, and Bratton uh, absolutely did a wonderful job coming off the bench and providing that offensive firepower because uh, UTRGV has their leading scorer, also a 6'8 player in Sean Ray, that had left the team earlier this week. Latre Darthard with some hustle points, cross-court pass to Overton. Has time, launches, misses, and Tim Fuller can't get the rebound, but a nice effort on the other side for the Vaqueros. And now Butler passes the timeline. And Butler drives straight into Blaze Neal. And Neal gets the contact and the foul. Yeah, Butler is uh, very quick, much like Javon Levi. He's a little bit craftier on the offensive end as far as creating his own shot. So a guy that can really provide some things for them offensively when he comes in the game. Last night, Laquan Butler had eight points. Now, he didn't shoot the basketball that well, and a lot of his shots last night were rushed towards the end of the game trying to make a comeback, but I really like the way he can get his own shot. Bratton from the free throw line now. Gates it back out to Butler. Ooh, nice crossover by Butler. The referee's going to say he traveled. Well, James Harden doesn't travel on that move. (laughs) But unfortunately, he's not in college. So in college, that is a walk. Good call by the official. He was right there on it and just kind of a a double step back almost. Now, Jaden McClanahan, who has the ball last night, one of those players, again, who does things that Coach Mark Manson says are the quote-unquote little things for this program, like that right there, a beautiful bounce pass to Tim Fuller. McClanahan last night had eight assists, dropping eight dimes in the piggy bank for the Wolverines. Oh, yeah, right in the piggy bank, too. He doesn't want to break that bank yet. He wants to drop some more dimes in it tonight. Absolutely. Take another look here. Nice vision. Fuller just gets hacked. Yeah, and I'll tell you, a little bit of an adventure when uh, Tim Fuller goes to the line here. And I mean that in the most loving, loving way. There it is. Well, last night he was shooting it a little bit flatter than that. Tonight he puts a little bit of air under it and knocks his first one down. Tim Fuller last night from the charity stripe, one of four. Overton will step off, and coming on is Colby Lafson. And I think one of the coaching staff noticed what I noticed last night, and he's put that ball, look at that, a little bit higher. And last night it was very, very flat. So good coaching with, and, and good adjustment by the player with Tim Fuller there. 12 to 8, Utah Valley on top by 4. And the pesky hands of the Wolverines, Jaden McClanahan again. alley for Tim Fuller, who throws it down. Woohoo! Wow, Timmy! Timmy! I didn't know Fuller could get up like that. And here comes another turnover. <laughs> Defense to offense again for the Wolverines. Well, he was pointing for it, and uh, Jaden McClanahan said, Here you go, young man. And he said, uh, I'll do some filthy things. I saw him calling for it just like that. Again, showing off the strength of Fuller. has definitely come along and come alive in the last three weeks for this Utah Valley team. Absolutely. Tim Fuller and Jaden McClanahan off the bench have been a massive key for the Wolverines. Now, see, you see it right there, and he points for it, gives it up, and then he just throws it down. And I'll tell you, that's a pretty athletic move, as you said. He had a player running underneath him, had to reach back, grab it, and then throw it down with authority. (laughs) The Reverend Bill Walton. (laughs) <laughs> A.K. Josh yeah, Exactly. Yeah, get rid of those wobbly legs. <laughs> A whole line change here for UTRGV. Oh, Cherry coming back in. QJ2 coming back in. I'll tell you, Tim Fuller, I really, really like the way he's he's uh, 
come along as a player. Uh, at the beginning of the year, you know, a lot of things were kind of up in the air with this basketball team and with every basketball team in the country. And then he's really just asserted himself, as you said, in the last three weeks, even maybe a little before that, as he knocks down. That's three for four from the line. Great job by him. He's made an adjustment, and I really like it. But he's really come along along, along with Jaden, as we mentioned, and Colby Lafson as well, picking up some minutes here uh, late in the season and showing uh, what he can do to help this team. 15-8, Utah Valley lead. Vaquero is trying to find some mojo on offense. That one was deflected by the Wolverines. Scrappy Tim Fuller gets a jump ball. You see that emotion coming out of yeah. number five. We're going right over to his bench. Yeah, Timmy, Timmy gets a, a, another block in there. He just, I'll tell you, what I like about him is that he is willing to roll up his sleeves, and he's like a junkyard dog. He's going to go out right out there, and he's going to brawl with you in the parking lot. Tim Fuller is, is the quintessential role player that this Utah Valley team needs. Absolutely. They needed they needed someone to take on that role, and he has absolutely grabbed it with both hands. So they're going to reset the clock to 28 seconds. So Utah Valley again with that 15-8 to eight lead. UTRGB has had three turnovers in the last two minutes. And Utah Valley's capitalized on all three of them. The trade Darter. Well, Barry sees a crease, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Tim Fuller. Well, you have to have a gratuitous uh, moving pick call <laughs> <laughs> on both ends. So there will be one on this end as well. You've got to get those gratuitous ones in. It's a point of emphasis. Like a checklist. Yeah, exactly. Make sure you get one of those a game. Vaquero is a scoring drought over the last two and a half minutes. Johnson going to take it himself. Nice spin move. Gets his... Defenders in the popcorn machine. Well, and, and what, what happened there is he really didn't get him up as much as as uh, he thought he did, and Tim Fuller actually did a nice job of body control, stayed with it, and held his ground. McClanahan drives, going against Levi, and he gets the kiss off the glass. Well, I love his energy off the bench. Every time he comes off the bench now, you feel like you you, know, you feel like the game's lifted in the Wolverines' favor. That's a 7-0 and run for the Wolverines over the last minute and 40 seconds. Uche Dibiamakas puts a stop to the scoring job for the Vaqueros. He's one of two Vaqueros on the floor to score tonight, him and Levi. Yeah, and, uh, Uche Dibiamaka is a guy that I really think has a great skill set. He really defends very well for UTRGV, and he also has the ability to score. He scored 12 points in the second half. Uh, last night to keep them in that basketball game. McClanahan now with seven. Six for the Wolverines, now five. McClanahan in trouble. Trey Woodbury, desperation heave. And when you don't think, it's yep. pure. Yes, absolutely. And right there, he actually caught that in pretty good rhythm. And uh, just no challenge from the UTRGB player. Thought he was too deep, and he just stroked it. Latre Darthur with a jump ball, and this is probably the most energized Utah Valley team I've seen in right. a couple the weeks. Right, the bench up. They, they know it's at stake tonight. Utah Valley with a 10-point lead, largest of the contest. We're just getting started halfway through the first half on the WAC Digital Network. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is a premier award-winning student property in Orem. With nearly $5 million in renovations, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or online, and the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, keeping you safe and secure. Lease right now and get $200 off your first month's rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. It's not always easy being the exception. Welcome back to the UCSU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. The overhead cam 
Coming to you courtesy of Ben Schroeder and his staff. Utah Valley on top, 20 to 10. We'll take a look at these scheduled, these canceled games by UTRGV. We talked about this earlier, Josh. 12 canceled, and look at 11 of those in conference. Yeah, absolutely, and that's why they are sit at two and one right now in league play. And you know, obviously, they've had some some weather issues in Texas. They had their coach pass away three weeks ago, which is an absolute tragedy. And you know, and then there's been the COVID cancellations. So they've really been behind the eight ball. But give them credit because they have come out and looked like they've been playing all season. Absolutely. And again, last night's game against Utah Valley was the first whack game the Vaqueros played since a 72-65 win over Dixie State at home January 16th. <laughs> wow, I don't even remember that far back. I'm right there with you. I don't even remember what I had for lunch today. <laughs> well, I, I know it was a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do this so we can see our faces. Exactly, yeah. we got fa faces made for radio. UTRGV again down by 10. 10.43 left to play in the first half. Javon Levi with two points. He and D.B. Amaka, the only two to score for the Vaqueros. And I believe that just yes. really came out of his yeah, hand. Yeah, slipped out of his hand. I, from, from our vantage point, it almost looked like Tim Fuller may have blocked that basketball, but uh, the official made a very clear call that it had slipped out of his hand. Oh, wow. And Jade McClanahan gets called for an offensive foul, trying to inbound the ball for the Wolverines. Well, Jade McClanahan right there, what he did was he made a little swim move. I don't know. It works in football. Yeah, it does, but it does not usually in basketball when the official's standing right in front of you. Uh, Javon Levi was right in front of him, and he kind of did a little swim move to try to get around to get the basketball. Dibia Maka open in the corner, misses. Fuller, Mr. Hustle tonight. Charlie Hustle. Jade McClanahan now with the ball for the Wolverines as Fardaz Amak is set to come in. McClanahan spins, gives to leave, excuse me, Leifson. Fuller calling for it, size mismatch down low, kicks it back out, finds the open man, Colby Leifson. Misses off the corner. Well, Leifson uh, wide open on that one, and it, the way that he can shoot the basketball, you expect that to go down, but it rushed that a little bit, even though he was wide open. And the ball gets stuck. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> no, I have not. And McClanahan goes up and gets it. Littlest guy in the court. Had a boy. So Utah Valley will get that on an alternate pos alternate possession. And uh, so Lafson will come out of the basketball game here. So Utah Valley still uh, with – actually, Fuller goes out as well. So just the two uh, gentlemen off the bench in – McClanahan and uh, Latre Darthard. Fardon's Zamak gives way to McClanahan. Now back down low to the big fella. Big fella getting double teamed. Now just going 1v1. Double team comes again. Kicks it back out. Overton. McClanahan with the open look. And that one didn't look good as soon as he left. Now I was actually hoping it might bank in uh, when it left his hand. It was uh, off, well off. And that is not off at all. Uche Dibiamaka continues to stay hot for the Vaqueros. Yeah, Uche uh, Dibiamaka is actually a very good offensive player. He's just a good all-around player. Nine points for Dibiamaka now. 20-13 to 13 Wolverine lead. Overton. Step back. And that one's short right into the hands of Quentin Johnson the second. And then Overton comes back and maybe a little frustration. Yeah, absolutely right there was just a little frustration. He shot an air ball, probably an ill-advised shot by, by J.J. He knew it. He came back, tried to do a little bit too much, and when you do that, you end up with something like that. As you see here, uh, pushing the basketball up and then just a little cross body. On, uh, a body check. Yeah, a yeah, body check in the NHL. That, that would uh, earn, you, earn you some points. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Utah Valley finds themselves in a scoring drought over the last two minutes. Dibiamaka had a three-pointer. Now Nelson wants a three-pointer. That one comes up short. Evan Cole now with his fourth rebound. Good challenge by J.J. Overton on that. A shot there. Overton trying to go 1v1, goes baseline, kicks it out. Blaze Neal still has it. Shot put shot off the back iron. And they're going to say foul against UTRGV, maybe Quentin Johnson. And, yes, Quentin Johnson. 
Yeah, and Quentin Johnson upset right there on that. And, you know, I, I got to feel for him because when you're the smaller player, sometimes you've got to – he's much smaller than Evan Cole at 6'10", and he's got to really push and shove and, and hold and do everything he possibly can to keep that big man off the offensive boards. Now Rob McLean Jr. checking into the game for Johnson. McLean last night contributed about eight minutes. And Evan Cole. Well, me, Latre Arthur, my bad. Yeah, well, Latre Arthur's a guy you can't leave open. He shoots about 50% from three-point land. Oh, emphatic call by the official. And that's going to go against... Uh, <laughs> Go against uh, Blaze Neal, pl- player from Lehigh High School here locally. With with not as many fans and with all the wood people behind us here, the cardboard cutouts, I would actually prefer that the officials make those calls. That way we can know exactly, yeah, exactly. what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice rebound from Bratton down low. Bratton showing off his strength. Fardaz Amak fumbles it out of bounds. And Fardaz Amak with four rebounds, trying to find number five. But that'll take us to our under eight media timeout with the Wolverines still on top by 10, 23-13. We'll be right back on the WDN after this. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The latest from KSO 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. Twenty-three thirteen, Utah Valley on top over UTRGV, Utah Valley. Defeated the Vaqueros last night, 78-74. And that's just one of those things that that we've been talking about over and over with this Utah Valley team, just really struggling to put teams away. They leave the door open at nighttime so that they can see the hall light still coming in. And yep. the other team continues to, to make their presence known. And it was really only one play away from Utah RGB forcing overtime, if not winning. Right, and that was last night. Now what they've really been doing is they've been doing that really bad in the second game of these double headers that they've been playing. These back-to-back Friday Saturday games, yes. they've come into those and really struggled to put teams away to, and and then ended up losing. So it's kind of in that position right now for Utah Valley is again DB Amaka, he's just uh he's saying picking up right where he left off in the second half last night. DB Maka now the first player for either team in double figures with 11, 5 of 7 from the floor. From the Aussie. Now Fardaz Amak goes right back, misses. The trade Darthard falls. He's all right, gets back up. And Javon Levi to Dibiamaka in transition. Dibiamaka back to back buckets. 13 points now. Well, and they're shaving this uh, lead right back down. And again, like you just mentioned, Utah Valley uh, almost struggling with prosperity. JJ over to Heaven Cole. The trade to our third. Fardon Zaymak keeps it. McClanahan now with 10. Puts it on the floor, drives baseline, stuck. Bounce pass to J.J. Overton who loses it out of play. They're going to wait for the official call. 
And they're going to give it to Utah Valley with five seconds on the shot clock. Well, JJ, or excuse me, uh, McClanahan got himself stuck underneath the basket. You can't pick up your dribble there. Absolutely cannot pick up your dribble, especially when you're five foot ten. You get stuck underneath that basket. You uh, it, it did a nice job of getting rid of it to JJ Overton on a nice cut, but uh, very fortunate there. And Evan Cole gets fouled, and Javon Levi thought he had it clean. That'll well, be his first foul. Well, Javon, <laughs> Javon's a guy that can take your wallet and you don't know it. Oh, absolutely. He he is uh, he has got such quick hands and and quick feet and quick everything and he's been doing this in this uh, that in this league for four years now. Last night, Levi had seven steals. Yeah, unbelievable. That's an unreal number. Seven steals and eight assists. As far as Amac got a rebound and then stripped away from behind, but By stepped who out else? of play. Javon Levi. Javon's a guy, he absolutely has a big man. You cannot put that basketball down. And in that situation right there, Dawson's got to keep that basketball up high and just put it back in the hole. But instead, he brought it back down. And who was there? Javon Levi. Woodbury. Leaning into Butler, a big size mismatch. And Butler, really nothing else he could have done. Yeah, uh, right there, it's it's no different than being, you know, a 6'10 guy up against uh, a 6'6 guy in that situation when you have a 6'4 strong, well-built guy in in Woodbury posting up Butler, who they list at six feet. Uh, again, I said list at six feet. Trey Woodbury at the free throw line. Last night, Woodbury had nine points, and that's... Point number four tonight for Trey Woodbury. Woodbury, the best free throw shooter for Utah Valley, and he shoots a, he shoots at about a 75%, and uh, he, he's got a good-looking stroke from the line. Almost as good as that Viking beard he's trying to grow. <laughs> that you can only see close up. <laughs> 25-17, Utah Valley on top. 6.30 left to play in the first half. Bratton going big time down Ooh. low, and... There's nothing Woodbury could have done there. No, he, he did the best he could. He took it right in the chest, and he, I think he literally got knocked down. It was no, There was no flop in that. Now, Bratton, a big, strong man, and uh, nothing Woodbury could do there. Bratton, a skilled offensive player. We saw that last night when he had 19. McClanahan, Woodbury, back to McClanahan with 12. McClanahan now in single digits. Getting the echo from his own bench. McClanahan drives. Reverse layup. No good. Evan Cole tried to get the putback jam. Evan Cole gets fouled. What is going on? And I don't know what's happening with UTR and GV. Yeah, Lawrence Anderson was uh, very upset about something. I don't, I'm not sure if he thought his teammate was the one that was bothering him. Or, or, or if what, he but was upset Mafia. about a situation I, I'm not sure because we were watching the basketball and uh, we watched the miss dunk the rebound and then the foul it looked like somebody's hand went up through the hoop yeah and, yeah and so it, uh, it is a very difficult there it is and it was uh Bratton's hand went up through the hoop that should have been but the grappling was between Fardaz, Fa uh, Fardaz Amac and uh Lawrence Anderson so there was a little grappling there no no holds Nothing. So we'll be back here in just a moment at the UCCU Center. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay safe. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. After the referees took a look at the monitor, they saw that it looked like Bratton's hand went up through the hoop after the initial foul was called, and that foul 
will go against UTRGV. And Evan Cole at the free throw line where he's been successful tonight. And an over the back call against Fardaz Amak. So Evan Cole so far seven rebounds and four points. He's on track to break his own career high in rebounds, which was 14 that he said last night. Yeah, absolutely. But Utah Valley, the Achilles heel of this this group is those free throws. And right there we just saw Evan Cole go to the line. And, you know, when you, when you get an offensive rebound and you have an opportunity for a putback and they foul you, you've got to go to the line and earn them so that you don't get fouled every single time. Because that's what they're going to start em- employing is saying, okay, big man, I'm going to foul you, make you earn him from the line until you can show me you can make a free throw. Bratt misses the free throw. Overton there for the rebound for the Wolverines in Utah Valley. One for their last nine offensively. 25-19, 5.45 left to play in the first half. Well, we talked about how Utah Valley struggles with prosperity, and they had uh, really gotten something going on, and then it just kind of fell apart on them. McClanahan comes up short. Nice solid rebound there from Anderson. And here comes Butler. Butler back out to Dibiamaka, leading score with 13. Dibiamaka, stutter step from the elbow, too strong. Big solid rebound there from Fardaz Zamak. Nice outlet pass, McClanahan to Woodbury. Now to Fardaz Zamak running the floor. Evan Cole with the putback. Well, you got to love that right there because what you what you saw there is you saw both your big guys getting back down the floor on the break. And because of that, missed layup, big man tips it in. 27-19, Utah Valley on top with 4.50 left to play in the first. And they're going to call a blocking foul on J.J. Overton. To me, it looked like D.B. Maka yeah. lost his footing. He did lose his footing, and then it looked like he actually kind of was trying to catch himself a little bit and threw that uh, arm up right into McClanahan, and down they went. And a call by the official does not show that. If you see that there, yes, he was going down before he made contact with J.J. And they don't call it Utah Valley's way this time, but... You know, good aggressive move again by the young man from Australia in D.B. Amaka. He has really been what's kept UTRGV in contact here, down just eight with 4:47 to go in this basketball in this first half of this basketball game. D.B. Amaka makes the free throw. D.B. Amaka last night, four of ten from the floor, two of three from beyond the arc. He only went to the free throw line twice. Yeah, and he, he did all his damage in the second half. So he ma- missed some shots in the first half, and boy, in the second half was he a beast. And tonight so far, 14 points. And that one goes as far in the hoop <laughs> as it could before it comes right back <laughs> literally, out. Literally, literally, that thing was all the way down and just popped right back out. So tough luck for the Vaqueros on that play. So 27-20, the Wolverine leads seven. 4.30 left to play in the first half. McClanahan, huge jump step. Yeah, that was the definition of a jump stop right there. Single digits for the Wolverines. Darthard in trouble. Fardaz Amak going to put it on the floor. Running jumper. That one's good. Collateral damage. Offensive fouls. Javon Levi is one of those buildings that Godzilla smashed when he goes through Tokyo. <laughs> Literally, he was uh, crushed right there. But I'll tell you, great job by him being, you know, a much smaller player to just stand there and take the shot from the big man. That's really why you don't want your 6'11", 245-pound guy going to the basket that hard and jumping in the air. And that'll take us to our media timeout. Utah Valley on top. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida.
Predicting Utah's diverse weather. It takes an experienced team, passionate about putting you in the know before you go. It takes the KSL Weather Specialists. Weather made special. Little earth, wind, and fire bringing us back to from break 27 20, Utah Valley on top. 4 19 left to play. We just got word Charlton is up 11 at the break against New Mexico State, and the WAC continuing to show its parity. Absolutely, and Tarleton is a team that they are undersized, but they're a lot like this UTRGV team. They're a resilient bunch of kids, they uh, are quick. They'll steal the basketball from you, and they, nobody will play harder. And Billy Gillespie, uh, their coach, uh, does an amazing job of keeping his team in contact and, and really giving them a chance to win games late. Well, UTRGV, talking about a resilient bunch, they really uh, have been so resilient so far in this basketball game, taking a lot of punches from Utah Valley, but they hang right around. The old rope a dope waiting for the second half, maybe. Javon Levi with 10 on the clock. Trying to go around McClanahan. Levi with the shot put. That's what Farad Azamak was trying to do. Yes, absolutely. And that's where, he, but it was more under control when Levi did it right there. And when you get a little bit out of control, as far as uh, Dawes did, you're going to see bad things happen. Five point Utah Valley lead, 340 left to play in the first half. McClanahan back out to Woodbury and Dibiamaka with the pesky hands. Well, that's that Get defense. That's that defense that they play, and they are one of the best teams in the country at defending the three-point line and also overall field goal percentage. They are one of the top teams in those categories. Woodbury now to Fuller. Fuller, who had some great minutes and great production early on in the first half. As we see a foul called. On UJ Dibiamaka, that'll be his second personal foul. Well, and that's a big foul uh, against him in that situation with 3.27 to go, picking up his second foul here. That's uh, something the Wolverines would love to see is uh, Dibiamaka sitting on the bench. McClanahan gets the shooter's touch, <laughs> touches all parts of the rim. And Rattles goes around and goes in. And again, we mentioned last night, Jaden McClanahan coming up huge, not offensively with the points. He only had five, but with the dimes, he had eight assists. And from that point guard position, eight assists, only two turnovers. It's a fantastic margin. Unsuccessful at the second attempt at the free throw line. 28-22, Wolverines on top. And Dibiamaka thought about it. And Utah Valley drops into this little bit of zone look that they do every once in a while in games. And... Last night it worked well for them against this team from UTRGV. O'Cherry gets fouled by Trey Woodbury, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, good job there of penetrating that zone and then dropping it off to the big man. He was going up to throw that down, so nothing else that Woodbury could do there except commit the foul. And so actually a good foul by Trey there. Jeff O'Cherry last night, six points. Two rebounds, and he was successful at the charity stripe two times. Well, he's got a good-looking touch from the line, but last night he only played about 10 minutes because he was in foul trouble from the get-go last night. But tonight he's been able to stay in the basketball game and has done a nice job. Jeff yeah. O'Cherry, the grad, the graduate yeah, he, yeah, from Yeah, I was about Bronx. to say, grad, yeah, he's from the Bronx, New York, played at Stony Brook. It seems like an, an odd place to, to head out to the Rio Grande Valley from Stony Brook, New York, but I'll tell you, they're glad to have him. Usually people from New York head down south of Florida or Texas to get away from that cold. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well, my son uh, spent three years playing minor league baseball in the RGV, and he says, if I never have to go back there, it's so hot. <laughs> He's like, it is so hot. It, 95 degrees at game time at 7 o'clock at, at night. And that's not including the humidity from the south. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The Trey Darthard on the other end with the layup puts Utah Valley's lead to 30 to 24. 226 left to play. 
Evan Cole again doing well to not leave his feet. Latre Darthur gets the rebound, finds its way to Evan Cole. Now Lafson, who pulls it down. Now gets it into the right hands of McClanahan. Yeah, that was a, a good play there, especially by Latre Darthur falling. He was losing his balance and found somebody. And then now in, big man to big man. I love to see that. Ooh, that's the second block from O'Cherry tonight. Yeah, that's just a good-looking good, good block. Good play by O'Cherry. The crafty Butler kicks it back out to Nelson, top of the key, and that's a good splash down, looking like Clay Thompson there. Oh, yeah. Good shot by uh, Nelson and good penetration again. And here comes UTRGV just down by three here. Utah Valley was was hoping to close this a lot better here in the first half. but Colby Lafson answers with a three of his own. But I, 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 I speak too quickly. As Kobe Lafson knocks one down, now Utah Valley really needs to get a couple of stops to close out this half and uh, maybe get a basket or two on the other end. That would be something that would be huge for the home team here. 118, Levi with the mid-range jumper, too strong. Evan Cole again there for the rebound, rebound number nine. Yeah, that's a huge number in one half. Maybe he's learning a thing or two from the nation's leading rebounder and his teammate Fardaz Amak. Uh, obviously. <laughs> And Tim Fuller at the elbow gets picked from behind. Happened to be right at McClanahan. And there's the finish from Evan Cole. There you go with two hands like his mama taught him. <laughs> so a, a great pass again from Jaden McClanahan, who has really, really, really asserted himself here as the backup point guard and uh, really a guy who plays a lot of minutes now. McClanahan, eight assists last night, already five, Josh. Yeah, it's just he, the way he's been playing is just, uh, it's just really fun to watch. Now we're going to get one of those uh, ticky kind of a ticky-tack foul here. As they call it, what is it, Bill Raftery say? A little nickel-dimer. <laughs> <laughs> a little nickel-dimer. And uh, kind of a call you can go without here. Just uh, what a pass right there. And nice job by Cole. He went up. He wanted, you know, you want to catch that and hammer it down. But instead this time he caught it, controlled it, kind of laid it in, fingertip dunk. We'll give him, we'll give him credit for the dunk. Oh, Jerry misses the first free throw. Because, you know, Evan had has had two dunks tonight that he's been unsuccessful on, which is the first we've seen uh, of him. But both of those were difficult dunk. Well, one was a very simple dunk. The other one was a difficult dunk. But he he was trying to hammer him down a little bit too hard. Oh, Jerry misses both. And Utah Valley now with about a two-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. See how much time they elect to use. 35-27. Well, the key here is for Utah Valley to get up a shot, maybe have an opportunity for a putback, but then not leave enough time for RGV to come up with a shot on the other end. Single digits now for McClanahan. Got to come up with something special here. Five, four. Evan Cole wants a three. Evan Cole gets it. Wow. It's cold world in the first half. Yeah, that's right. It's a cold, hard world. I'll tell you. He senior is, night. Yeah, senior night. He has responded tonight. And a great pass again from Jaden McClanahan, picking up his sixth assist. So Utah Valley right now up 11 at half. And really they did exactly what I was, I was talking about before. They got a couple of stops. They came down, got some big baskets. Utah Valley up 11. We'll see it for the second half, Brandon. Again, your halftime score, 38-27. Largest lead for the Wolverines. We'll take a quick break. Halftime in Orm, Utah. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is a premier award-winning student property in Orem. With nearly $5 million in renovations, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or online, and the Resident Assistant Program is nationally recognized, keeping you safe and secure. Lease right now and get $200 off your first month's rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. 
If we can see things for what they are. If we can see what they could be. If the plastic we use, we never throw away. If the end of one thing could be the beginning of the next. If we know that less can create more. If we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others, if we can work as a team, all we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by... We love the new apartment. The natural light is amazing. Hardwood floors. There is a bit of a clogging problem. At least Geico makes it easy to bundle our renters and car insurance. Yeah, helping us save even more. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com.
It's not always easy being the exception. They'll tell you you don't belong. That it's not your place. That it'll never fly. But here, you learn that you have a choice. You can listen to those voices can leave them all speechless. But the key component there is you. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines! Support student-athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student-athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Who am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access Ready to go? South Park. and highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app.
Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Welcome back to Orem, Utah, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Crow alongside Josh Kalunke. Thank you for joining us here. We'll take a look at the first half stats for Utah Valley and UTRGV with the Wolverines up 38-27. Out of these big stats here, Josh, which one of those stats stands out to you the most? Well, you know, you look at it and you see Utah Valley obviously re out-rebounding the Vaqueros, and they should be. 25-17, uh, to 17, and you, I say they should be because of the fact that Utah Valley has such a size advantage. But then you look at this field goal percentage, pretty close, but the three-point field goals, uh, Utah Valley making two more, and shooting four for nine is outstanding. And Utah Valley sharing the basketball very well. On the, on the uh, flip side, shooting just 35% is UTRGB, and that's just not going to get it done. Well, we saw last night they again playing rope a dope and they saved their better half for the second half and that's where they really came on strong to make their move but that man right there on your screen Evan Cole the lone senior that was recognized for senior night he was part of the 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 run that Utah Valley had to finish off that first half an 8-0 run had a three-pointer and so right now Evan Cole 11 points nine rebounds five of those defensive yeah and he's just really affecting the game big time right now and kind of imposing his will with all those rebounds, it's uh, just an impressive game so far for the big man. He's got to keep it up here in the second half. With that rebounding battle, that battle in the post, it's almost like a pick your poison for Utah Valley tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, UTRGV with their, and a nice tip out there by O'Cherry. And with their lack of size, it really, they, you've got to pick your poison. Nelson looking for some help. Now, Dibiamaka, who leads all scores with 14 points. And a miss by QJ2 Johnson. 
Rebounded by Woodbury. Blaze Neal for the Wolverines now with it. Well, I think right there Utah Valley will take those kind of possessions where they have a, a challenge jump shot at the end of the, sh end of the clock. And a miscommunication. J.J. Overton thought Blaze Neal was going to be in the corner when he wasn't. <laughs> and Blaze Neal thought J.J. Overton was going to throw it to 15 feet, and he threw it to 20. <laughs> D.B. Maka. And J.J. Overton falls on the floor. D.B. Maka takes the open look. Doesn't connect. Here comes Overton head-to-head, -head, coast to coast. And again, Fardas Amak and Javon Levi colliding with each other. It's a great finish. Whereas on the other end, Utah Valley, uh, J.J. Overton, he took it right at the two defenders. And sometimes uh, maybe pulling that ball back out when you don't have numbers might be the better part of Valor. A huge rejection <laughs> there by Oh Cherry. Oh Cherry. <laughs> that's man. when you say, that's when you get a comma in that name. Oh Cherry. <laughs> the big man, I think that's his third block. And he's really uh, had an effect on this basketball game. And I, I think... Good for him. He's really come back off of a tough night for him last night when he kind of spent the whole game on the on the bench with a lot of foul trouble. So 17 on the clock for the Wolverines. Neal gets it into Fardas Amak. Fardas Amak gives it back to Blaze Neal. We saw him practicing those shots yeah. earlier. Yeah, and he has a nice stroke from the perimeter. He just chooses not to use it, but right there he makes a nice move. You know, when, when he makes those moves where he is under control, uses one, maybe two dribbles, and is able to keep both feet underneath him, he really does a nice job of finishing. It's when he tries to get in the air and do a little bit too much like he did earlier in the first half and ends up with a per, uh, with a uh, offensive foul. Nelson misses from distance. Well, right now, Utah Valley coming out in this. Wow. That was a good no-call, my yeah, opinion. Really, yeah. That's a, what I, I was saying, wow, to the nice defensive play yes. right there. And knocked it away from the big guy coming down, knocked it away and knocked it off him. So an outstanding play by the Vaqueros. And they've come out with, with uh, quite a bit of energy right here. Um, the, uh, is it Nelson? Or excuse me, yeah. Um, uh, Mer uh, yeah, Nelson right there. Or, no, that was Javon Levi. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nelson's been making some nice plays here in the second half as well. And Bratton going right at Fardaz Amak. Amak might have a couple more inches, but Bratton looks like he's got a little yeah, bit more girth. Yeah, he, uh, he's got the big wide shoulders and, and uh, wide lower half, and he just uh, uses it to his advantage. So 40 to 31, still single-digit lead. Trey Woodbury looking to add two more, misses. Fardaz Amak. Gobbles up the rebound, and again, the pesky hands <laughs> of Javon <laughs> Levi. He put that thing down anywhere near where he can get it. He's going to go get it, and he's such a great athlete and so quick. He, he just uh, he does amazing things. He's got stick him on those hands. <laughs> he really, oh, oh he he trying to do it again. again. Yeah. Fardaz Amak now with 10 on the clock, trying to go against Bratton. Fardaz Amak going to his patented left-hand side. Gets fouled in the process doing that same shot. Yeah, and that's where you, you want to you see your big man. When your big man catches the basketball there, uh, he's looking for the double team. The first thing he does is he's going to look in the middle. He looks in the middle to see what they're going to do. And in that situation, he looked. He saw that nobody was coming. And so he took that basketball right into that void and then drew the foul. Fardaz Amak. Gets the shooter's touch. Amac tonight so far in 14 minutes with that free throw. Five points, two of eight from the floor. S excuse me, six defensive, three offensive for a total of nine rebounds. And give that silver stroke to Fardaz Amac for number six. Well, that's what you like to see with uh, Fardaz Amac knocking down free throws. That's a big, big uh, part of, of the game for a big man. Last night he was 10 of 13 as Bratton shows off the mid-range game. That's what Fardon Zamek was practicing earlier. Yeah, yeah, he was. And it, it, credit Bratton. I mean, he's just tough. The Blaze kneeled now for the Wolverines. 42-33, Utah Valley on top. Evan Cole now kneeled. Wide open three-point look. Gets fouled. No foul. Falls on the floor. Makes the three-pointer. No whistle. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, that right there is just concentration. you got to concentrate even if you think you're fouled. And he followed through, did a nice job, and knocked it down. Bratton again. 
Nice anticipation and hustle and athleticism there from Johnson. Well, right there, Cole, uh, Evan Cole mistimed his jump. And when you mistime your jump, you really kind of put yourself in a bad spot. And just a nice job by UTRGV to come in there, clean that up, and then earn the foul. 45-33, 16 left in regulation. Wolverines on top. 20 on the clock for the Vaqueros. Quentin Johnson just does a nice job for being undersized. Uh, he's just so quick and jumps so quickly. Does a nice job. And a great pass there and a great finish. Outstanding finish there. Again, Bratton came in this game uh, this weekend averaging three points a game. Last night he had 19. So far he has 10. Yeah, he's just, just absolutely answering the call. And look out, Jason Erickson, our SID and compadre, almost got hit in the head. <laughs> That'll take us to our under-16 media timeout. Wolverines on top by 10. It'll be Utah Valley basketball when we return in the WAC Digital Network. I love this view. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. The Gibb brothers bringing us back. Staying alive is what Utah Valley is trying to do here on top by 10. A little Saturday Night Fever in Orem, Utah. Brandon Crow alongside Josh Kalunke. Thank you for letting us be a part of your evening on YouTube and on the WAC Digital Network. And, Josh, take a look at this upcoming schedule for Utah Valley. Really, after tonight, it's just two big games in the desert next week. Yeah, absolutely. And Utah Valley battling here with a 10-point lead, about 16 minutes, 15.47 exactly to go in this game. So Utah Valley needs to finish this game off uh, strong and move into that series with Grand Canyon coming up next weekend, which will really determine most likely who wins the WAC championship regular season title. And that game is midway through the first half. Grand Canyon is on top of Seattle U 9-8. So that's early in that basketball game. So that that will have a lot to do with uh, how Utah Valley finishes. So exciting finish for the Wolverines. Tarleton is up 51-42 with eight minutes left in that game over New Mexico State. Evan Cole rising, and then Fardaz Amak rising for the rebound. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> how did Fardaz Amak put that in? Yeah, he, uh, that was uh, – Gumby. Yeah, he, he actually looked like he was pushed in the back when he got the rebound and then went to the uh, – Went to the reverse. <laughs> that was uh, pretty sweet. And now we're going to have a, a another gratuitous offensive foul on the pick there by Lawrence Anderson. Boy, he's just had a tough night. Really like him at 6'6". He gets in there and he really battles with the big guys. Really holds his own and does a nice job. He's got a, he's another guy with a good set of shoulders on him from UTRGV. And he just, he just undersized in there and he's got to push and shove a little bit. So Lawrence Anderson steps off, bodies hit the floor. I'm not going to go into my rendition of let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> For all you heavy metal fans out there. And a foul is called against Nelson. That will be his first for UTRGB. So 47-35, Wolverines on top. Fardon's Amac gives way to Trey Woodbury. Woodbury trying to go back to Amac and does. 
I'd like to see Amac just shoot that little jumper when he has it. But then again, you can go to the jump hook as well. When he turns to that left shoulder, he, he can be very, very tough. Last night, Farnon's Amac had his 13th double-double tonight. Make that 14. Javon Levi going amongst the trees. Javon, I really like him. When he gets a matchup where he can take a guy down on the post, he's athletic enough and skilled enough that he can score in there as well. You don't have to be 6'10 to score inside. 49-37, J.J. Overton with the Wolverines. Now Woodbury in the corner, back to Evan Cole. Overton on the floor and gets taken out at the hips by Javon Levi. And I think right there it looked like Javon uh, kind of maybe lost his balance or something because it was an, uh, an awkward play. And that's his third foul, which is very, uh, as you see right here, oh, he just comes out trying to close out a little bit too quick and and uh, made the tackle no first down. <laughs> Looks like a lot of the t uh, attempted tackles in the NFL these days. <laughs> exactly. A lot of motion and commotion in the key and ultimately out of play off of Utah Valley. It looked like Evan Cole had that and maybe had it knocked out of his hands, but the official thought otherwise. Utah Valley, again, getting the ball deep and not being able to finish right there with Dawes Amac. So Utah Valley needs to be a little more efficient, I think, in order to continue to advance along in this season especially. 49-37, 13-45 left to play. Oh, Cherry. Farnaz Amak with another rebound. Gives way to Blaze Neal. Good looking move by O'Cherry in there. Just uh, well challenged by Farnaz Amak. Just two good big guys going at it. Evan Cole, he can make those. Evan Cole's got two of them tonight. He does, and I'll tell you, when he can set his feet and uh, gets a, a good look at it, boy, he can knock those down. Timeout UTRGV, Utah Valley's largest lead of the evening tonight. 52-37. We'll be right back in Orem after this. Join the Wolverine Club. A simple message with a major impact. Support student-athletes like former Utah Valley University men's basketball star, graduate, and 13-year pro basketball veteran, Ryan Toulson. Oh. Ryan is the basketball program's all-time leading scorer and holds seven UVU career records. Support the next professional basketball athlete by joining the Wolverine Club today. Get the breaking news, weather, and traffic you need to know before you go. Wake up to real stories from real people. The news specialists on KSL Today. Mornings made special. I love this view. I love that every time this commercial airs. I got to drink another Mountain Dew. <sighs> Welcome back to the UCCU Center. 52-37 Utah Valley leads. Take a look. Fardon Zamak again, the nation's leading rebounder, 15 and a half per game, 25 rebounds, broke and set his own school record three times this season, John. Now he's not averaging 25 rebounds a game. No. But <laughs> that was a single season record, and I'll tell you, he has had, uh, yeah, 15.5 <laughs> uh, per game. It's just unbelievable what he's been able to do off the glass. And the, the crazy part about it is you also have uh, Evan Cole that's rebounded at a high clip at a good rate. And some of these other guards do a very nice job on the boards. And I think that is one of the things that really has been a catalyst for this Wolverine team to be in the position they are, challenging for the WAC championship. And for me, I'm an old school guy, even though I might uh, appear younger, but I'm an old you, soul. You don't really look that young. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Your birth certificate says you are. But. Sure. <laughs> Uche Dibiamaka goes up, doesn't get it, and AMAC again right on cue with another rebound. But right. I just like seeing an active more traditional big man in the game. Oh, absolutely. I like that. I, and I, especially as a former player, love those dudes that got those rebounds for you so you can run and get off in the break. 
Bardas Amak with a little pump fake shimmy. Going to go baseline. Bratton doing really well with defense. And Fardoz Amak is feeling it, and he puts it up and in despite J.J. Overton wanting that ball. Yeah, absolutely. And right there, you just if you're going to get uh, solo coverage on the big man like that uh, with a 6'8 player. Nelson with a sweet stroke, answers with the yeah, three of his own. As soon own. as I saw that thing going up, I went silent because I was like, wow, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, that was almost poetry in <laughs> yeah, motion. Yeah, no, Nelson's got just a, a sweet, sweet stroke. But uh, you can't, you know, a solo coverage like that with a 6'8 player, that's going to be – a difficult uh, guard. Now, now we're going to get a call, a, a walking call on Evan Cohen. Coach Madsen uh, is very uh, adamant that he doesn't agree. So that'll take us to immediate timeout. Coach Mark Madsen talking with the officials about how many steps Evan Cole has taken. But Utah Valley on top, 54-40, 12-23 left. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Willie the Wolverine making a cameo down at the bottom to Doja Cat. Nice. Wild, oh. wild Bill. <laughs> The Wolverine. You know, Utah basketball, when I say Utah, I mean the state, not the school, but Utah basketball misses Wild Bill. The NCAA misses Wild Bill from up there at Utah State. Throwback for you kids who don't know Wild Bill, Google them. Wild Bill, Utah State. You'll have some good entertaining yeah. videos for a little while. 54-40, Utah Valley on top. 12-20 left to play in the in regulation in this one. And to see how UTRG can respond. And Bratton trying to do the best that he can, and Fardon Zamak, really one of the best players I've seen in a while with that one hand down and the other hand Yeah, and, and not rebound. committing a foul. Yeah. And not committing a foul on the challenge and then going back and getting it with that one hand and protecting it, tucking it up under that armpit. Fardon Zamak was feeling it, so he was calling for it the elbow. And instead, he'll set a screen <laughs> for Woodbury. Oh, that's going to go the other way. And that's a good call by the official. I saw it. I, I don't know if you heard my reaction, but I was like, oh. Yep. Uh, right there, the defender was moving backwards, and uh, just a little bit of that arm comes out from Woodbury and knocks him over, and an easy call by the official who was right there. And, you know, Trey Woodbury doesn't like it, and, you know, he shouldn't. But right now, Utah Valley, well, it looks like UTRGV is going to take a timeout right here. They're going to say it's an official media again. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll take another break, try and clear our throats, and get ready for the rest of the action after this. It's not always easy being the exception. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? 
Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more, free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Utah Valley staple, the Green Men Group, keeping this energy alive in the UCCU Center with Utah Valley on top by 14. Have you ever wondered why it's the Green Man Group when there's a whole bunch of Green Men? I Maybe we need clarification, Green Men Group? Am I <laughs> pronouncing it wrong? We'll try. <laughs> no, we'll, it's we'll, the Green we'll, Man Group. We'll, we'll look that up because I know it's the, I just it's the Blue I'm just Man not, Group. Yeah, it's, not it's the Blue, blue man, man, and so it's the Green Man Group, but, I, but there's not more than one Green Man, so I'm confused. That's all. Life's philosophical questions <laughs> yeah. here with Josh Kalunke. Yep, and I'll tell you, I can get deep. And Lucy offered five cents for her therapy sessions. <laughs> I get them for free. Fifty-four <laughs> forty. Yeah. Javon Levi and UTRGB launching a three, and he rattles that one home. Well, you wouldn't expect anybody else but Javon Levi. I mean, he's just uh, he's such a tough kid, and you know, I've enjoyed, really enjoyed watching him play the last four years, and hopefully uh, he'll be here for another one, and we get to watch him again. It's the great defense between those two right there. Oh. And Dibiamaka and Levi at the top. Yeah, Dibiamaka, I mean, I, I admire that kid's game. All these kids. I mean, every one of these young men, it's just fun to watch them. Four on the clock, going down low to Amac with two, misses the rim completely. And trying to get back is the Utah Valley defense. I'm not sure if Dawes Amac maybe didn't quite know where he was on that one. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. By Bratton, uh, what, did the, uh, what did the Beastie Boys say? Crafty. <laughs> She's crafty. He's crafty. Yeah, he's crafty. That was crafty right there. He, instead of trying to go over the two big men, he went under, and that was beautiful. Johnson hits the floor. Latre Darthard somehow lost it, but it got stuck in between his legs. <laughs> and the look on Javon Levi's face says it all. He's so I confused. Know. I know. Sometimes in basketball, something happens that looks so awkward. You look at the official like, that had to be something wrong. But Latre, he did not lose his pivot foot, and he had the basketball between his legs. Yep. You just don't see that. Amac takes a seat with 12 points and 13 rebounds. Evan Cole who had a career-high 14 rebounds last night, has 10, and Butler is going to get called for foul on Evan Cole. Well, and that's a classic example of the switch on that uh, pick right there, and you, you leave your 6-footer against your 6'10 guy, and you, not only is there you know a 10-inch difference, but there's probably a 50, 60-pound difference. And so he's got to reach and grab and hold. And talk about a height difference. Uh, you got Javon Levi now and Evan Cole, and Trey Woodbury lowers his shoulder. Butler goes flying, and another foul against Woodbury. Yeah, and that one right there, um, Woodbury's just, he's just had a tough weekend. Uh, he, last night he ended up with 9-9, nine and nine, which, you know, he, he's tough on the, on the boards. He's a great athlete, and he, he tends to help on the boards a lot. But, boy, he's just had kind of a tough, tough weekend. 54-45, UTRGV still chipping away at this Utah Valley lead. They've been on an 8-0 run over the last two and a half minutes here. Yeah, absolutely. Utah Valley, again, having a hard time with prosperity. A nice rebound from Fuller. Now McClanahan pulls it back. Fuller thought about setting the screen, said he's going to try and go down low, and McClanahan pulls it back. Well, this is the first we've seen of Tim Fuller in the second half, and he, you know, in the first half really affected the basketball game. And Fuller and McClanahan jump all over the ball on the floor. I think this might stay. Yep, we'll stay with Utah Valley. I miss those old school possession arrows that we could see. We're on the, or <laughs> We're right on the wrong side. Them. I miss the old jump balls, man. Oh, even those. Those are better, yeah. Yeah. But you got to be pretty. Uh, you got to be pretty old to remember the jump ball. <laughs> 
11 seconds on the clock for the Wolverines. McClanahan bounced past the Fuller, back to McClanahan. Now with single digits, McClanahan loses it out of bounds. Well, and Utah Valley continues. They, they get a lead. They were up 14 just moments ago and just cannot stand their own prosperity. They, and here comes this resilient bunch from, you know, the Rio Grande Valley. They will not go away, and there's no way you can make them go away except for to continue to execute, and Utah Valley just struggling with that right now. Utah Valley now with 12 turnovers to Rio Grande Valley's five. Javon Levi, another three-pointer. Levi now with 12 points, just behind Dibby Mock is 14. And back to six points goes the lead. Neal guarded by Dibby Maka. Finally gets past the timeline. 54-48, 9-21. Shades of last night starting to flash back here. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a, we're watching a rerun. Now with seven on the clock, Darthur goes amongst the trees. No contact. I mean, a lot of contact. Excuse me, no foul, no blood, no foul. And they're going to say that this was last yeah, touch. And the other official is going to come in, and I think uh, we're there going to have a little chat about that because. Yeah, thank you. He says, my correction. I think in, in that case, you know, sometimes the official uh, quickly points, and he I just, I offici I've officiated. <laughs> and you'll point the wrong direction. Right here you see Darth Hernandez clearly out of bounds off of the UTRGV player. And, uh Right there, it's one of those situations where his partner comes in and says, hey, man, you know, you do realize you pointed the wrong way. <laughs> and he says, oh, yeah, my, my bad. I pointed the wrong direction. Hashtag refs are human, too. Yep, <laughs> very human. Laveson with the quick trigger. That one almost banked in. Fuller with a great rebound. Laveson almost let it fly again but pulled it back. And Utah Valley going to try and get a more high percentage possession here. 54-48, nine on the clock. Neal's got to make a move, which he does. Pulls it back now with five. Neal dribbles, stutters, kicks. Overton launches. Flash down. Wow. Great shot right there. Clutch shot from J.J. Overton, who is not known for his three-point shooting. But, again, you've got two seniors in Levi and Overton stepping up right now. Foul called on the floor on, UT, excuse me, on Utah Valley. And that's going to go against Blaze Neal. That'll be his third personal. So 57-48 with 8.30 left. And Bratton checking in for O'Cherry. And Freeman coming in as well for... Oh, thought he was coming in for Nelson. So it's going to be Freeman for O'Cherry. I beg your pardon. Well, they're going pretty small here with just the big man Bratton. Bratton going 1v3 in the key. Overton with the hot hands. Overton going to try and outrun Bratton. Overton gets contact, and Bratton uh, trying to save him. That's, that's good very, sportsmanship. very good sportsmanship play there by Bratton. And he's a big, strong big strong man. And uh, That could have gotten really ugly. Yes, and J.J. going 300 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, there you go. You have him going 300 miles an hour. Hammers him, but I'll tell you, oh, what a, I, I got goosebumps because that's just a great play by that young man, you know. Hey, his sportsmanship, I mean, grabs him by the shirt, makes sure that he doesn't fall down, and then J.J. recognizes that and gives him a little little hug. I think that was probably a violation of all the COVID rules. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, that right there was, that, that right there was fun to watch. If, two, two guys playing hard and then not wanting to hurt each other. If Bratton doesn't hold on to that jersey, J.J.'s going straight into the, oh, ab the railing right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, he is. And Overton is successful at the free throw line. So Overton now with nine points tonight in 22 minutes. Out of all the Wolverines on the floor, Darthur, Neal, Fuller, Lapes, and Overton, nobody in double digits. Meanwhile, for UTRGV. We got a little hook call. And an offensive foul against the Vaqueros. So Freeman, Nelson, Levi, D.B. Mock, and Bratton, three in double figures with Levi, D.B. Mock, and Bratton. Freeman still looking for his first points. Well, right there, you know, I always say the hook move is the best move in basketball when you get away with it. <laughs> and it's very difficult to get away with. But I'll tell you, a little bit of a hook. I didn't think it was much. But the official was right there, Johnny on the spot. Overton sizing up as a defender. Drives. 
just he just floats. Yeah, he that levitates. was and that right there was great body control on the levitation and laid it up with the opposite hand too. Right there, trying to do a little bit too much, throwing it down to the big man, couldn't catch it. So Utah Valley uh, continues the lead here by 13. We'll be back here at the UCC Center in just a moment. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? South And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. And that right there is a courageous and valiant UTRGB team giving Utah Valley everything that they can handle last night and so far here tonight. Again, just nothing but high respect for this program, for the Vaqueros, for Jay Stedman, for the whole staff, for the players. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that play, I don't know if, if you weren't with us uh, just a moment ago when uh, Bratton, the big man, fouled J.J. Overton and, and held him up and then, you know, and they exchanged pleasantries. Like, And I'm talking about in a very positive way. The most One of the most positive plays you'll see in college basketball. That right there was a stamp not only for Bratton, but for Bratton's parents and for Lou Hill, uh, you know, the late Lou Hill, who was the coach of this program for years and who Bratton played under. So I'll tell you what, that is just that, – that right there just shows me I have always enjoyed – the UTRGV teams. Baseball, basketball, those are the only ones I've been involved with. A great move again by J.J. Overton finishes, but I, I just have to wax a little bit about this uh, UTRGV program, about that university, about the people who work there, the coaching staffs. They're great. They're great people, and I love my trips that I've taken out there over the years. And Coach Lou Hill, the late Coach Lou Hill, preached one of his, his mantras was peace and love. Absolutely. And, and that was a, a quintessential peace and love gesture between, Played by that young between man. Bratton and Overton. Absolutely. And uh, like you said, uh, gave us chills, both of us chills. And so, again, just cannot say enough good things about this UTRGV program as they're still trying to climb back in this game, 63-48 with seven minutes left here to play in Bratton. Stuck in the middle, goes back out to Nelson now with single digits. Dibiamaka drives, jump step, puts it up, and gets his own rebound, tip in. Kid is tough. I mean, to, to make a move like that and then to hit the ground and then such a quick jump on the second jump to get that tip. I mean, he's a special, special player. Dibiamaka now tied with Bratton for 14 points apiece. Team highs. And J.J. Overton continued to let down the clock and up by 13. Leifson, too strong. Fuller comes in for the rebound. Back out to Darthard. Step back, three-pointer in rhythm. Too strong. Tip back out. Overton comes away with it now. Well, that's Leifson getting in there and tipping it out. I like it. The three-point shooter extraordinaire gets in there and gets a tip, a tip out. And good hustle by that guy, Leifson. Overton drive, stops, pops from the free throw line. That one rims in and out. More hustle plays from the Wolverines down low. Latrade Darthard. And that one got Coach Mark Madsen fired up. Absolutely. You, the, what you have is you have a really uh, great hustle by Darthard. But I'm telling you, Timmy. Timmy. Timmy, Timmy F. Timmy F. Um, 
Watch this hustle here. Yeah, look Latre. at that. He third. goes in there, and he he, not, he tips it away so Latre can get it. Now off the corner of your screen, see if we can see. Oh, J.J. over to cover it up. But that was quintessential Mark Madsen, Mad Dog style play <laughs> from the Lakers and from the Timberwolves right there. Yeah, exactly. And you couldn't see it, but he legit pumped his chest, and he got fired up. And, and that's the kind of thing as a coach that you do get fired up about. It's these little, little things that you preach and preach and preach. And you, and you want to see your guys do, and when they do them, oh, my goodness, you feel <laughs> it, it's better than doing it yourself. And Latre Darthard, he's, he's such a quiet – he's just a, kind of a quiet character. Uh, and he just he just gets it done. If you need him to guard somebody, he guards somebody. If you need him to hit some threes, uh, he'll hit some threes. You need him to get you know go in and scrap. He goes in and scraps. He's just a kind of a quiet guy that just gets it done. And I really, really think he is a huge addition to this program. Not only on the court, but off the court as well. As Coach Mark Madsen in last night's press conference said, he's writing the book on professionalism. As Butler steps back and drains a three-pointer, Butler. It, that's his, ironically enough, that's only his first points of the game. Yeah, and, and Butler, he put up 16 shots last night. So he he's usually not allergic to getting some shots up. Overton crossing over. A couple defenders draws the contact, gets fouled by O'Cherry, and he'll go to the free throw line. Well, J.J. is just, he's water bug quick. <laughs> and not only is he water bug quick, he's 6'6". And so, you know, and then he has great explosion. So he's a very difficult guard for anyone and then you get inside to those big guys and big once a big guy commits it's just too difficult for him to make that adjustment and down goes JJ and he goes to the line Overton again making that that free throw adjustment uh, a la Nick Van Exel yeah moving back, back yeah. And, with the rainbow arc and some some breaking news throughout uh, the Western Athletic Conference, Tarleton State has upset New Mexico State final 64-55. to And Grand Canyon is up 31-25 on Seattle with six seconds left in the first half. Tarleton, Tarleton State scares me, man. Billy Gillespie, once he – I mean, he has a great little ball club right now. But once he's able to add some big guys and things, whew, could get scary. Fardon Zamak tips it back out to Blaze Neal. So five minutes and change left in regulation, 65-53. And Butler strips Blaze Neal. Dibiamaka drains another three. Dibiamaka with the second tonight. Now 17 total points for the Aussie. Well, Butler stripping Blaze Neal is not, a, not an easy thing to do. Blaze is one of the top guys in the country in assist to turnover ratio, and and so he, he's not a guy that turns it over. Fardaz Zamak going to try and go 1v1 against O'Cherry. Beautiful move. It gets the roll with the left hand. Hey, hey, that's the old hook they teach you that you shoot it below the rim and then you have it hit the rim and roll in. Levi going against Neil O'Cherry there for the rebound. And Fardaz Zamak with the old school grandpa move from behind to swat it away. Yeah, he's just showing his YMCA game here <laughs> with that underneath the rim uh, flip shot with the left hand. And then the, he's really, I mean, he's ready for the YMCA right now. Blaze Neal comes out for Jaden McClanahan. Trey Woodbury comes in for Latre Darthard. So 67 56, Utah Valley lead, 418 left telling you to be good you do have to have a little bit of old man game in your game McClanahan now is the full court pressure here from the Vaqueros easing up just a little and Dibby Maka going to be guarding McClanahan Fardaz Amak and that's going to be number four there now on uh, Dibby Maka so Dibby Maka and Bratton both have four yeah, and that's, that's a tough situation here with four minutes to go. Down by 11, and you have your two, really, two of your premier offensive guys in foul trouble. And D.B. Maka is actually one of their premier defenders as well. Overton now with 14 points, ties Fardaz Amak for a team high tonight. And Evan Cole. So Evan Cole, Fardaz Amak, J.J. Overton all with 14 points. 
Well, anytime you can get three guys into mid-double figures, that, that's a good sign for your ball club. And not only that, but Evan Cole and Amac have double-doubles themselves. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to head to In-N-Out and grab one of those myself after this. Us Southern California guys can't live without a double-double every now and again, maybe once a week for me. <laughs> exactly. My I... Glyceride levels are too high. <laughs> well, I, uh, it's like a job for me. And that will take us to our under four media timeout. Wolverines on top, 68-56. We'll be back after this. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Ghana's first Winter Games skeleton. Support student-athletes like former Utah Valley University track star, graduate, and current Olympian Akwasi Frimpong. Yes, South Korea, here I come. Akwasi was the first person to represent his nation of Ghana at the Winter Olympics in the skeleton. Support the next UVU Olympian by joining the Wolverine Club today. top of UTRGV 68 to 56 the Wolverines over the Vaqueros Utah Valley again victorious last night and as we'll take a look at the next upcoming broadcast we do more sports than just basketball here so next broadcast men's soccer next Friday versus UTRGV and then a rescheduled match against Incarnate Word Monday the matinee special at two o'clock might have to take a long lunch to be able to get ready for that one <laughs> Well, uh, you do a great job, Brandon, and you, I know you call those games as well. And so, uh, Brandon, a talented cat. Thank you very much. Nelson in the corner for three. Comes off short. Rebound by Fardon Zamak. Rebound number 15. Oh, you, just, it, I'm sorry to cut you off. Ahead, it's, no. just, it gets, it's almost absurd that the, the numbers that, that Fardos is putting up, and we're getting so oh. used to saying, hey, he only has 15. Yeah, come on, man. Get it bored. <laughs> I, it's, just, it's crazy. It is. It's insane because he sometimes, oh, is he making defensive play there? But, uh, yeah, no. He, Butler with the <laughs> okie doke and drains the three. And then he wanted to foul with it. Uh, deserved that. <laughs> but great job. I really, really like Butler. And solid defense here. Utah Valley barely gets the ball over the Literally top barely. I, uh, I mean, that, that was borderline uh, blow your whistle. So McClanahan puts it on the floor. Beautiful no-look pass. Farda Zamak with the finish. Well, I tell you, uh, the play of McClanahan, we just can't emphasize enough what, what he's brought to this team, and he's really made a huge difference. And Evan Cole with rebound number 11. Well, Laquan Butler had a nice look there. He probably should have used a little bit of a, a maybe a dribble right there, a, a, a dribble to get his rhythm. And instead he, he shot it. Off the pass, which wasn't a great pass into his shooting pocket. So. McClanahan now at nine, eight. Time continues to tick away. Six drives. Trying to do the same thing, but Bratton was there. Yeah, Bratton, well, you can get me once, but you're not going to get me twice. And, and that time he did a nice job of getting in the way of that. And uh, he's going to come out of the basketball game right now. O'Cherry back in and. They're going to come back with Johnson as well as D.B. Amaka here to try to make this final run in this last 204. So three seconds on the shot clock. Woodbear trying to fight through. Bounce pass Evan Cole off the glass. And McClanahan, the smallest man on the floor, somehow comes away with it. Yeah, McClanahan was just Johnny in the, on the spot right there. Now 10 on the clock, McClanahan. Six, five, drives, puts it up, gets deflected, 
and another defensive effort. Well, and there's a case of O'Cherry had the basketball, but it was down low. And when it's down low, those little guys, there's McClanahan, he pulls it away, and O'Cherry just lost his balance, uh, fell on top of him, and McClanahan will go to the line. It was just one second on the shot clock there, so good possession for Utah Valley all in all, even though it was kind of a, uh, I don't know what you would call that. A moot point? <laughs> yeah, but it was, you know, it was more of a, it was more of a, uh, Somewhat disastrous possession. <laughs> could, could have ended much much differently, but McClanahan just everywhere on that possession. McClanahan successful at the charity stripe, so just four points from McClanahan, but last night eight assists, tonight he has seven. Yeah, he's done an amazing, an amazing job. And Amida had seven assists with only two turnovers as Levi steps into another three-pointer. That one rattles out. Fardaz Amak gobbles up. A rebound and gets his headband knocked off. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting headband knockoff there. 71-59, Wolverines comfortably on top. McClanahan will continue to take as much time as he can. Fardon Zamak, another soft touch. And Nelson with the rebound for the Vaqueros. And Levi gets fouled by Woodbury. So oh. that'll be Trey Woodbury. I believe that's his fifth. Yeah, not not uh, Trey Woodbury's best night. But I'll tell you what, you, I say that, and then I look at it. He, he spent a lot of the night on the bench in foul trouble. Still had five points, still three rebounds, four assists. I mean, the young man, he, he does so many things for this basketball team that when he's not when he's not getting 18 points and, and 10 rebounds and doing a million things, you think he's not doing anything. But I'll tell you, Trey Woodbury is always there, and he's tough as nails. And lockdown defense doesn't show up in the stat book either. No, it does not. And, uh, and toughness doesn't show up in that. And he, he brings a lot of toughness. And, in fact, I think a lot of this team's toughness comes from Trey Woodbury. Evan Cole doing well to keep his body position down, but you just that's just tough. You just can't guard. Yeah, that's just a great yeah. Sometimes uh, yeah, sometimes offense is better than the defense, and that was the case there. So McClan tip your cap. Evan Cole wanted an alley oop. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> Evan Cole wants an alley oop every play. JJ Overton now with nine on the clock. Cuts to his left, pulls it back. Goes back, stops, pops inside the three-point line too long, and the Trey Darthur gets caught with Dibiamaka and goes down hard. And that'll be Dibiamaka's fifth. Well, and there's Latre again, just doing, you know, quiet things, doing, doing. You know, and, and I like the thing you said about Coach Madsen saying how professional he is. This is a young man that started a, a lot of games early in the year. He's If he's called upon to start, he does that. If he's called upon to come off the bench and be a defensive stopper, he does that. If he comes, he's called upon to come, come out and, and be a three-point shooter that scores, uh, you know, three or four threes in a game, he'll do that. You just, you know, tell me what you want, coach, and I'm going to go get it. And that is an admirable trade. And uh, Evan Cole's going to come out of the game for, the, for what could be the last time. And he gets a hug from Coach Mark Madsen, and he's getting a hug from his teammates. And although he only spent one year here at Utah Valley, I know he's definitely said how memorable and how meaningful this year has been for him. And certainly all the highlights. I know I personally have one of my favorite moments as a broadcaster when he posterized Gorjok Gak of CBU. And I have a poster which I will have him <laughs> sign before he leaves. That's awesome. But uh, Evan Cole, a tremendous talent, and who knows, he might be able to be just like Javon Levi and some of these other players that have been affected by COVID. He might be able to come out. Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you really look at it and you see that they really haven't been able to play a full schedule. There's no 35-game schedules for any of these guys, and Javon Levi knocks down the free throw there. But, you know, you see this and you think – these poor young men, you know, they haven't had these opportunities. And, you know, what's really good is that some guys, it takes five years to graduate as well. Sure. Because you are uh, playing sports all the time. And, you know, my own son is a great case of that. He came back between, uh, 
minor league baseball and was, you know, studying, continued studying because hey, he didn't get it done when he was playing here. It's, you know, he took it as a full-time job uh, playing baseball and being a student. It's a tough, it's a tough deal for student athletes. And the ones I see that are grad students, I'm like, you're a beast. <laughs> like Evan Cole, for instance. Absolutely. Evan Cole, for me, is one of those players that the bigger the moment, the more he stepped up. Oh, he absolutely, never yes. Again, 31 points at Utah when they went cross country to play at St. John's, doing the same thing. And Evan Cole, if he does not come back, he'll be greatly missed. And what a fantastic addition he has been. And the officials are going to overrule each other here. Uh, so with 11.7 seconds left, 30-second timeout will be taken. They're going to give Utah Valley that. But you're, you're absolutely right with Evan Cole. When, it went, you, when he went to the Big East, he stepped up. When he went to the Pac-12, he stepped up. You know, and here's the, the play that they – that went on right there, and that's uh, Dawes Amac trying to keep it away from three different players, and the official gave him that uh, timeout. The other official was calling a jump ball, but overruled. And again, if you if you wanted to put in a time capsule or really just show people the quintessential aspects of this UTRGB team, for me tonight, there's been there's been at least two. Of course, the Bratton JJ Overton moment, and then right here with 11 seconds left. Yep. Down by nine, and you have two guys jumping on on a on a ball, trying to force a jump ball situation. That yep. And nothing cheap. Never, never die. And nothing mentality. cheap. Nothing cheap. Which sometimes it can get a little chippy. You've now lost twice in a row here. Nothing chippy. Nothing unsportsmanlike. Just class acts all the way. And you know, kudos to the coaching staff and to the parents of each one of those young men. Utah Valley victorious tonight. Back-to-back -back wins against UTRGV. 73-64 is your final. And with this victory, Utah Valley now 8-3 in WAC Conference play. Utah Valley saluting their fans. Again, Evan Cole, the senior night, goes out big tonight. Evan Cole, double-double. And just cannot say enough good things about him and about this whole program for all of our hardworking staff and crew behind the scenes for Josh Kalunke for Ben Schroeder for Clint Berge Jared Sumption Jason Erickson I am Brandon Crow saying so long and good night we'll see you next week in Phoenix <laughs>